I'm Tony Hurst. I'm from the Department of Communication and Systems at the Open University in the UK. And I gave a talk here at Ed Media yesterday on um, RSS, in part, aggregation and syndication of content through RSS feeds. If any of, what, if any of you use um, RSS to subscribe to blogs using a tool such as Google Reader, you'll know that content can be moved around the web using these feeds. Um, educational content can also be transported using RSS. One of the things that I've been looking at particularly over the last couple of years is finding ways of packaging up content into bundles of about 500 to 800 words, possibly with a link to another resource, so that it can be shipped around using RSS and presented and represented in different ways. RSS allows you to combine content from lots of different sources. So if you've got several students on a course blogging, blogging their activities or several instructors involved in the course or delivering content to the same body of students. They can all maintain their own presence on the web or their own space on which they publish. And RSS can be used to aggregate that content either into a single stream or a single feed or allow the different feeds to be represented onto a single, onto a single canvas using something like NetVibes or PageFlakes. Blogs are, are the the natural home for RSS, content is produced on a daily basis or every two days or once a week. But RSS can also be used to represent content that's been written um, as a block and that is essentially fixed. So one of the things I've done with Open Learn content, which is the Open University's Open Courseware content, is take RSS feeds from courses where the course has been written. A course might cover 20 separate pages of, R of web based content. It's been made available as an RSS feed. That, that content can be represented in different spaces. It can be represented in a, a blogging platform where people can co comment on it. It can also be made available via a daily feed um, using a plug-in to a, a blogging engine or through, through a, a web service, which allows the content that's been written to be delivered or drip-fed one, uh, one chunk a day over a period of weeks or months. So, to take the Open Learn example, a daily feed from an Open Learn course, where an Open Learn course might cover 20 or 25 pages of content, can be subscribed to by a student today, tomorrow, next week, and they will receive one chunk a day then, starting on the day that they subscribe. So this compares with, with a blog where the content is produced, the schedule is defined according to the presenter or the publisher. Um, the daily feeds allow content that's fixed to be distributed to students according to their own schedule, according to their own starting date, one day at a time.